restricted to constipated dogs. <laughs> Support gun control. Kill a hunter. Are the bullies of the world beating you down? Give them a good licking. Bring back the good old days. Mad. We got the um, table of contents. I think I remember it wasn't. Yeah, there was a TV show, Mad, for a little while. I don't know if that's still a thing. But I liked watching it. Vital features, we've got Cease, a mad movie satire. The lighter side of snow, really dangerous stunts we'd like to see. Evil Knievel do on TV. Other election campaign acts. Mad greeting cards for very special occasions. And Lou Grouch, a mad TV satire. up time with one of Mad's big guns, Sergio Aragon's Shootin' Mad. You can order some different um, books, it looks like. Cease. Here's the satire. The oily 50s department. Boy, are we sick and tired of movies that try and tell us how marvelous things were back in the 50s, once and for all, we'd like them to cease. Gee whiz -oh, I don't think I'd see you back here this year. I promised my folks I'd be a senior by the time I was 30, and I only missed by three years. I always thought that watching the movie. <laughs> hey, don't touch my hair. It's my key to fame and fortune. What do you mean? Some guy from a big company saw me and offered me a big contract. You mean like Paramount Pictures? Nah, Standard Oil. They said my hair should be good for at least 10 barrels a day. This year, I'm going to turn over a new leaf. I'm going to take a bath a lot more often. Like once a day? I meant like once a semester. I seriously thought about quitting my job as a teacher here and taking up alligator wrestling instead. Why didn't you? <laughs> This is much more of a challenge. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Everything here is so different. Here, when it's winter, it's summer. Back home, when it's daytime here, it's nighttime there. Here, you go south to get warm. There we go north. Everything is just the opposite. You're right. What's exciting in Australia is very dull up here. Like what? Like you. Hey, what you doing, Denny? Practicing for the big disco contest Saturday. Schmuck, that's in another picture. So what's the big difference? I'm going to do the same kind of things in this one. <laughs> what did you do over the summer, Sandy? I met a really nice guy. His lips drove me crazy. Why? <laughs> I'm wild about the taste of day-old pizza. Yum. <laughs> I met a girl. She's really different from other girls. In what way? She was so bland and dull, she kept disappearing against the background. Denny, what are you looking for? You, I can't see you when you stand in front of a sand dune. I sure hope you didn't do anything foolish with that boy last summer. We did everything but. Everything but what? everything but, you know, in your case, it was probably just as well. Guys like to stay awake during, you know. That's cute. Summer love. Let me tell you about summer love. Started feeling I was deep fried. Started pillin', lost half my height. Blister, sun rash, I never tanned. Lost all my cash in the damn sand. Sunburn blotch, sand up your crotch. Ain't no fun in summer love. That is perfect. <laughs> Let's think of a problem to keep this movie going. How about...
about me wanting to leave Brooklyn to go live in Manhattan. Why do you keep going back to your last movie? I want to forget, but you keep remembering your past. I know, it's the present I want to forget. <laughs> oh, her with a mop on her head. Here I, here am I, I'm apple pie. Wholesome till the day I die. There is no doubt, this dish just won't make out. This dish is apple pie. It's for sure, I'm virgin pure, and I'll never take the cure. I'll just say nope. And be like ivory soap, forever virgin pure. Are you making fun of me? I didn't know you were there. Will you please stop standing in front of white walls? <laughs> this is really funny to me, but I'm also a huge Grease fan, so it's kind of hilarious. Hey there, stud. What's happening? Oh, wow, Sandy, is that you? You bet your buns, lover. That's fantastic. Just a minute ago, you were a dull, bland virgin. Now you're a dull, bland slut. <laughs> Guess what, Knocker? I'm not pregnant. Ah, oh, who cares? <laughs> These were the 50s when things were really great and folks were going nuts. Kids then were nifties with girls in glingy sweaters and guys in ducktail haircuts. Life was a Saturday night prom date. That's the way it was then. But we won't mention people like McCarthy and crazies like him around. And Cold War tension with war in South Korea and bomb shelters underground. Thing na things now are a hell of a lot better than the way it was then. of some insignificant moments in sports. Delayed start of international water polo match between Saudi Arabia, Arabia and the Sudan. Simple pop fly during Sing Sing annual intramural baseball game. Fans disagreeing with referees call at South American Soccer Championship. Big upset during annual Okafenoki Oka, Oka Swamp Gator Wrestling Championship. <laughs> One man scramble for foul ball during late season Blue Jays Mar Mariners game. Just some silly stuff. Release of pigeons at ceremony. All the pigeon poo. Consumer reports. Yeah. Six new aircraft carriers and latest spy. This issue's proposed mad medals to be presented to deserving doctors. The missing forceps medal, awarded to the doctors who successfully pass on to their patients the higher cost of malpractice insurance, while in no way attempting to cut down on the costs. <laughs> the full calendar citation, the little green pill medal, the golden scalpel medal, and the AMA medal of honor. Wow, you shoveled a path all the way down the street. What in the heck did you do that for? Exercise? Well, with all that shoveling, you've been getting plenty of exercise. Not yet. I haven't. So I've cleared a path so I can jog. <laughs> Wipe your feet before you come in. I'm wiping. I'm wiping. I just washed and waxed the floors. I don't want you tracking snow over them. Are you sure all the snow off your boots? I'm sure. I'm sure. Now can I come in? This would be my kid covered in snow, but his shoes are clean. Yep, that sounds about right. 
Hey, did you hear what that weatherman on the radio just said? It's three degrees out there. Turn up the car heater. I'm freezing. Calm down. I heard what the weatherman on the radio just said. It's three degrees Celsius. That's in the European metric system. We're switching over to, in our language, that's about 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Gee, thanks. I feel warmer already. You kids stop this snowball fight. Somebody could get hurt. See, I told you. I feel like we didn't get any snow this year where I'm at. Um, now I'm confused because we already saw this, did we not? Am I? Am I going crazy? That's identical. It's got to be some kind of a mistake. stuff before I make a video. Yep. Okay, this is different. I don't see this, I don't think. I guess this is more of the snow. Brand new snow tires, five dollars each. Snow tires, five miles ahead. Snow tires, five dollars each. Snowman, two dollars. She's one dollar per pair. <laughs> That's funny. It's all made out of snow. Recycled magazine articles. Oh, this could be funny. It could also probably be bad. <laughs> Psychology Today. Case history proves the Queen Elizabeth was born frumpy. <laughs> Traumatic October. Clenched teeth reveal Carter's subconscious feelings about Amy. Is it TV violence or the Waltons that makes young viewers go bonkers? Psychologists say Nixon's crying jags may indicate he's depressed. Farrah's recurring nightmare of going bald and losing all of her teeth. Why we need bigger and flashier cars to feed our egos. <laughs> I gotta see what cosmopolitan flaming autumn. Elizabeth and Philip do her ankle length dresses still turn him on. The tragedy of curtailed TV violence, lonely women left without Carl Malden, Nixon sobs, desirable girls wouldn't even buy a used car for me. What has Farrah Fawcett Majors got that you probably don't? Invite romance by choosing your 79, 1979 gas guzzler in a soft, sexy shade. Carter says he's for women's lib, but makes Amy stay up in a tree. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. A little bit funny. These are cute. These are funny. Here's the some really dangerous stunts we'd like to see Evil Knievel do on TV. Does anybody remember Evil Knievel? He did some crazy stuff. see him stand on a deserted New York City subway platform at 3 in the morning, sing God Save the Queen at Sons of Aaron Picnic, umpire a baseball game on beer day, <laughs> play quarterback for the Tampa Bay Bucks, be a substitute teacher in any big city high school. <laughs> that could be hard. I don't, I don't know if I could do it. Go swimming in the Hudson River, a water drinking contest in Mexico. the John in any big city school. <laughs> Other election campaign acts. The teacher's pet campaign act. Be it known that we, the student government of John J. Finsternish, Junior high school being unanimously nauseated by the behavior of students who are seeking to win the position of teacher's pet 
hereby set forth the following rules and regulations. One, you may spend no more than 50% of your total allowance on gifts or other inducements for your teacher. Two, you may spend no more than two hours a day washing blackboards or cleaning erasers after school. Three, you may not laugh or otherwise appear amused at your teacher's dumb attempts at humor unless two other students also react this way. Four, you may not simulate interest in the history of long division or any other subject that induces sleep in 75% of the rest of your class. And five, you may not request additional homework or any other brown nosing that may result in a class riot. School bully campaign, family car use campaign, class clown campaign, school sex symbol campaign. Mad greeting cards for every special occasion. To a young bride, it seems, my dear, like yesterday you started out in life, and here you are at seventeen, about to be a wife. Let's hope the wedding gown you wear is full and loosely styled so no one there will get the chance to see that you're with child. <laughs> to a confused person, that's me. You comb the land from coast to coast. You search the whole wide earth in hope someday that you will find a record of your birth. And so I want to share with you what all your friends have known. You'll never find the proof you seek. Because you are a clone. <laughs> to a health nut. <clears throat> you don't eat fish or fowl or meat. You won't use salt or spices. You've put a ban on cakes and pies and eggs provoke a crisis. This card's not meant to put you down. It's just an explanation. Why, well, once again, I'm passing up your dinner invitation. One night in the L.A. bus terminal. Insert bills. <laughs> Some joy of books we could really use. The joy of acne. <laughs> Stop feeling that Almighty has dealt you a terribly unfair blow by filling your face with purple and red beauties. You're lucky, and you should rejoice. How lucky? Well, just think, without those little pustules, what would you see when you looked in a mirror? Practically nothing at all. Merely a face that's hardly worth spending any time looking at. But with acne... You can spend hours peering at yourself because you're so darn interesting. Other people who spend time looking at themselves in mirrors are called egomaniacs, but you can do it with a clear conscience, if not a clear complexion. Now, let's look at the... <laughs> the joy of weekend homework. The joy of unwanted pregnancy. The joy of family gatherings. Kids letters to Santa after Christmas. Oh, this could be funny. Let's read a couple of these. Dear Santa, could you do me a favor next Christmas and show me some show some new cartoons on TV? If I see Rudolph Frosty or the Drummer Boy one more time, I'll barf. I'm only seven years old and I've seen them all seven times. Hey, dear Santa, I hate to bother you because I know you're probably busy with exchanges. But you misunderstood my request. I asked for that doll, Lee Majors. Not a Lee Majors doll. I'm too big to play with dolls, so could you please send me the real Lee Majors so I can play with him? <clears throat> Dear Santa, <laughs> Hey man, I'm reporting you to the government for discrimination against minorities, namely me. There's this rich dude in my class, and you brought him everything he asked for. You even brought him stuff he didn't ask for. Man, all I asked you for was a pair of serious suede pumas, and you brought me a regular pair of shoes. You're a real thing. <laughs> so, yeah, 
these were cute. Dear Santa, I'm starving to death because my mother is a health food nut. I figured you could help me by bringing me some goodies for Christmas, but you really copped out on me. I don't consider carob candy canes, granola, Santa Clauses, and 100% brand lollipops to be Xmas treats. Thanks for nothing. If you can hear my son's rat drinking some water. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to pause and get a little bit more tea real quick. Alright, sorry about that. I ran out of tea. So yeah. This, I know we already saw back in here somewhere. This is some kind of a mistake, a little, yep, we've already seen all this, greeting cards, the books, the crouch, so that must be it, so it would be a shorter video, but what's the most sickening thing on TV, the Marcus Sigby Doctor Show? With a little comic comes in to take a picture and they're just kind of swimming gets everything set up one of them notices and then they're all ready <laughs> smiling real big well I hope you enjoyed this I don't know if I'll do another mad one I'm not sure if it's really what we're looking for but I thought it'd be something fun to do just try something different. But anyways, thanks for coming and spending a little bit of time with me. But this will be a short little video and look forward to doing another one.